All right, good morning, everybody. For everyone joining us on social media, we are on Periscope and Twitter for this morning, and so far things are looking pretty good. This is our brand new and improved format. Thanks for joining us to see more about what's going on in the Mid South area. Again, if you've got any questions, please drop them into the comment section. We'd love to know more about what the weather's like in your general area. We'd also love to know a little bit more about what's going on directly in your location. So please drop your uh, location and comment section into location into the comment section and let us know a little bit more about what it looks like across your area, whether it's temperatures, wind speeds, you've got that weather station out in the backyard. We'd love to know more about that. So please let us know a little bit more about what's going on in your area. Looks like we are good on the Periscope and Twitter for this morning. So give me a second to get repositioned here, which cobbling together all this equipment is not easy to do. So we'll go ahead and bring our Facebook friends into this and show you a little bit more about what's going on out across the Mid-South. If you have any questions, again, please let us know. Drop them into the comments section. We'd love to be able to see more out there. Welcoming all of our friends on Facebook and joining us for this morning. And things, again, pretty quiet for right now. Possibility of some fewer thunderstorms out there into the rest of the afternoon, but otherwise not looking, again, at a lot of activity out there. Want to get more on the forecast? Right up here, wreg.com slash weather for more information. Forecast information in the blue bar down here and also in the red bar, social media here, here, and over there, and you can find out a lot more. Again, wreg.com slash weather for more information. Let's take a look and see what's going on around the rest of the Mid-South area this morning. St. Francis Cam along Germantown Parkway, which has been deserted for most of the morning. Very quiet, light traffic. Don't usually see it this deserted out there, so something to think about. Welcoming all of our Facebook friends uh, as well as our Periscope and Twitter friends out there for joining us for early this morning. Let's see what's going on where it comes to anything involving radar and moisture out across the Mid-South which at this time does not amount to much. We don't have much of anything going on in the Mid-South where it comes to anything involving showers, thunderstorms, anything like that. So good news across much of the area here. Again, we did pick up some birds taking off this morning and a little bit of light moisture in the atmosphere back across Fayette and into around Hardeman counties in Tennessee, also across northern Mississippi, but we're talking about just moisture hanging in the atmosphere, thick amounts of it up there, not exactly clouds, but easily detectable by radar. Nothing inbound at this time, not seeing anything in the way of problems north, south, east, or west of us. There could be an isolated thunderstorm later on today, and most of that along and back to the south of I-40. We'll talk about that coming up here in just a little bit, so stay tuned for more on that. Rest of the day today, again, a possibility. Excuse me a second. That's not supposed to be happening on Facebook. I want to get you my chin in there for the entire time. Let's go ahead and switch on over and show you what's going on with, again, the possibility of lots of sunshine out there. The view from Germantown showing light, a lot of a huge amounts of sunshine out there. And again, we're showing plenty of sunshine out across much of the Mid-South, so fairly quiet across much of the area. If you'd like to see these and other weather bug cameras, all you have to do is go to wreg.com slash webcams. Uh, Julia Cavallo, good morning and welcome to you. Richard Ransom is no longer with us. He's uh, exploring other opportunities, so he is no longer with News Channel 3. Thanks for asking. Uh, as of right now, again, we're seeing little, if anything, in the way of major amounts of clouds out there. Some clouds drifting on through, but we may see more of that throughout the course of the rest of the day. Radar is not showing a lot. Again, some showers back up to our north into around the Ohio River Valley and beyond that at this point in time we just don't really have a lot of anything huge going on just yet. You could see an isolated thunderstorm uh, throughout the rest of the day today, but that is really going to be about all that we wind up with for right now. Let's go ahead and see what's going on for the forecast. Again, we do not. if you'd like to check out more on radar, go to wreg.com and click on the interactive radar page. Great opportunity to follow along with storms, numerous layers, tropical information, uh, earthquake information, wildfire details, drought information on here. Just pick your layers and again, wreg.com slash weather for more on our interactive radar page. What we have is again a couple of fronts slowly wandering their way on through. It's not that much out there. Mickey Ramirez, thank you very much for joining us this morning. Again, decently quiet across much of the Mid-South. We'll have these isolated possibilities of showers and thunderstorms right on into and unfortunately close to Monday morning which is not entirely good news for the eclipse. We'll take a look at that forecast coming up in just a little bit. Most of the country is quiet right now. Some heat advisories taking place down around portions of 
Oklahoma, Arkansas, Texas, Louisiana, and West Central Mississippi, but not that much going on again in the Mid-South. It is going to be a hot and humid weekend coming up. That's going to be the main watchword for today, and you can see those heat advisories making their way into around areas just south of the News Channel 3 viewing area. But we're going to be seeing some heat index numbers close to around 103 degrees today at the hottest part of the day. So please keep that in mind if you're going to be heading out the doors, uh, doing anything outdoors across much of the Mid-South. Could be a bit of a problem there, again, for outdoor activities. Currently in the Mid-South area, temperatures again on the warm side. And as we get into the course of the rest of the day, we'll be looking at numbers going back into the lower to mid-90s. Low temperatures tonight, again, back into around the mid-upper 70s. I can get the National Weather Service data to behave. Looks like we may not have that right there. Okay, well, well, try that again. High temperatures again into tomorrow. I think I'm just going to go ahead and... Yeah, okay, fine, I get it. We'll go ahead and switch to the um, News Channel 3 seven-day page. We can find that back, and it looks like that's gone as well. Okay, apologies. Well, we're going to be seeing warm temperatures in the Mid-South. There we go. Temperatures tomorrow night going back into the lower to mid-70s. Looking into Monday, it is going to be a hot eclipse day coming up with temperatures again back in the lower to mid-90s. And we are going to have that potential mainly across portions of eastern Arkansas. The best possibility of anything involving thunderstorms will be here, northwest Mississippi, and unfortunately parts of southwest Tennessee. It's not huge but it is still possible, and it looks like that will be coming up a little bit later on into the afternoon or so. Randy Wilbanks, thanks for joining us from Walnut, Mississippi. Thanks to everybody for joining us. Let us know what your weather is doing across much of the area there. Here's what it looks like from the weather underground. This is a view of what's happening uh, through the next couple of days. We've spread out the conditions here when it comes, again, to the forecast out there. And kind of interesting, again, to see that as we go toward the area of the eclipse, we actually get pretty warm, close to 90 degrees just before noon. But then as the eclipse happens, you notice that there's kind of a dip in the temperatures, and that's where the eclipse goes through. So it looks like partly cloudy skies could be the possibility of an isolated chance of a shower or thunderstorm, but a minimal chance for right now. So that's good news. This forecast that you see here is much improved from what we saw just a couple of days ago. So very good news at this point. It's not perfect. Not going to be perfect, unfortunately, but this is about as good as it gets out there. So looking much improved for the forecast across much of the Mid-South. Harvey is a tropical storm, albeit just barely into the Caribbean. And that's going to go barreling over towards Central America. Not a threat to the United States. Winds at about 40 miles per hour. We also have another couple of disturbances that are on the way. Hopefully this is going to lead its way into the Caribbean south, well south of the News Channel 3 viewing area in the United States. We'll be watching those over the next several days. Tons of information about experiments for the eclipse coming up and what you can do to get pre prepared for it on our social media pages, spaceweather.com. We've also got information about World Humanitarian Day on Facebook if you'd like to know more about how we can all work together to make a better world and more information about the eclipse possible on Twitter. Great opportunity to learn more there. And if you haven't seen it yet, put together a special video for, again, the eclipse. I also work part-time at the Memphis Pink Palace Museum in the Education Department. Shot this earlier this week. 3D glasses are not eclipse glasses. They let in way too much light. They just help you see things a little bit better. So do not wear the 3D glasses for the eclipse. If you're going to be wearing anything for the eclipse, they have to be the eclipse glasses that are ready to go. Filters like this, gels from theater departments for lights and coloring, that also does not work. So if you'd like to see more about this, this is available on my YouTube page, and it also is available if you scroll down on my Facebook page, just a little bit slower down to the page there, and tons of great weather information, again, available there as well. Keep up to date with what's going on in the forecast throughout the rest of the weekend. I'll be available on the East Arkansas broadcast stations throughout the rest of the weekend, and I've got to hop back out on set here to bring people more information about what's going on with their forecast. Stay tuned for more with News Channel 3 throughout the rest of the weekend, live and direct from downtown Memphis. I'm meteorologist Austin Onyx. Stay tuned for more throughout the weekend on News Channel 3.